What's up guys, Ian of Winter Dust Stuff here, back with another reaction. Today is a very special day, because we are here reacting to the new Dragon Force single entitled Doomsday Party. I'm very excited for this. Dragon Force is one of my favorite bands of all time, and I've never actually done a reaction to one of their songs before. So, this is going to be interesting for me. Um... They said that they've completed the writing process for um, LP10, I believe, which is crazy to think about, 10th album, um, and that they're going to be starting to put out music for it. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these on and we are going to listen to this bad boy. Um, leave your thoughts down in the comments and let's get into this in 3, 2, 1, Doomsday Party from Dragon Force. Right away, starting crazy. Yo, their music videos are so tough. Man. Slower than I thought it would be. Yeah, it's slower than I thought it would be. Okay. This chorus is interesting. Why does Herman Lee look always so enamored that he's able to play like he does, but always plays it so effortlessly? Chorus is weird, but it's good. I don't know how I feel about it. Wait. Does Sam have the Sinister Gates guitar? <laughs> I saw that, and I was- what?! And Alicia's bass is popping off here. It's so nice to hear it. It's really good. Yeah, that, that's Sinister Gates guitar. <laughs> it's very dancey. Ooh, I like this section. Okay. Ooh, a slow section. Okay. Let's get it. Everything around was 
was beautiful. This was part of the vocal teaser. We were free then, everything was green and gold before. And we danced in the stars. Remember when we were so Never thought I'd see Dragon Force in a mosh pit. Huh. Okay. Um. Huh. Okay. I'm gonna have to think about this one. Okay, let's talk about it. Dragon Force, Doomsday Party. I don't know how to feel about this song. Because on one hand, it's very fun. Don't get me wrong, this song is a barrel of fun. It's exuding just danceable club activity kind of metal. And I like that. I, I think there's definitely a certain quality to it that I'm absolutely adoring and in love with but there's something about it that can't make me like it as much as i want to see dragon force has always been a band that has been about the complexities of music and the production and just the the technicality of everything in this track is so weird in comparison to everything of Dragon Force's output recently. I think after a few listens, I will like it, but at the moment, this is a really weird one for me. This is the weirdest I have felt about a Dragon Force song in a very long time. Like, I'd have to say that Maximum Overload was the last time I felt this iffy about a Dragon Force project. But other than that, as I said, this is a barrel of fun. It's It's got such fun vibes. The solos were nice. The beginning started out with a really nice techie brrrr kind of thing. And it's cool. I really like what they've done. And the video. Oh, God, the video is so fun. Oh, it's fantastic. Everybody looked like they were having a lot of fun in this video. Just everybody. And Herman... Sam, G on the drums, Alicia on the... Uh, gotta say that. Alicia on the bass. Holy shit. Her bass is so clear and audible here. And I love it. I love that the bass is getting a lot more attention, I think. Um, Repowered Within had a lot of bassier sounds, and this was no exception. Her bass is loud, it's chunky, and it's punchy here, and I really enjoy that. The band is sounding just so good together. Um, just just as a succinct unit, Dragon Force has grown into such a powerhouse, I think, uh, since Alicia joined. And props to them for, for getting this one out. And apparently, LP10 is coming along smoothly, so I think we're going to get that by the end of the year. But I don't have too much else to say. Uh, this was weird. I'm gonna have to think on it for a little while, but I've been Ian of Winter Dust. If we reacted to Dragon Force's Doomsday Party, if you like what you saw, leave a like, leave a comment below on what you thought of my reaction, the song, what you want me to react to next, what you think this next album is gonna be like. Do you think it's gonna be more like this, or are we gonna have another situation very similar to Reaching Into Infinity, maybe with some more additions, um, musically that we'd never expect from Dragon Force, similar to what we're seeing here. 
But I got to go. I got stuff to do. Peace. In due time, guys.